Hello everybody, Magic Web Design here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install um, programs without admin rights or with print controls on. This only works for Windows, as far as I know, I'm not a very good Mac user, I don't use Macs besides for in school, because they give us laptops, but here's how I install things on my personal computer. As you can see here, there everything over here except Notepad I have installed using this method. Um, they all work just fine. Eclipse it works fine. Um, Win SCP works fine. iPhone Box it all works good. Now I just installed a bunch, opened a bunch of crap. So let's close that. <laughs> so let's get on to what I'm doing. All right. So the key word for doing this is portable. Remember that portable. Now, what you want to do is you want to go up to your preferred web browser. I personally use Chrome, and you want to go to this website or portableapp.com, or you can do it in the Google bar, whichever works for you. For example, here I will be getting 7-Zip. 7-Zip is usually has to you usually have to have the admin put their credentials in to get they have it installed. The reason for this is if you go down here, type run, and you go to Program files times 86 for Windows users, Windows 7 users at least. I think Windows XP just uses program files, I'm not sure. But this is where things usually are installed, such as iTunes. Um, oh, there's that fun box right there, I didn't know I had that. Notepad++, um, WinRAR, everything's installed into here. Now, just to get my point through, I'm going to take my Minecraft models and try to put them in here. I can't do it. Because it has printer controls on here, as you can see, I cannot put it in, it in there. So what what I do as an alternative is instead of installing it to there, I type in run percent app data, and I go to this directory. Now, as you can see, see in here, I have the Java of JavaScript decompiler, Eclipse, Frostwire, Notepad plus plus, SQL Lite, spy this thing right here for editing databases. Win SCP. Now I can use these. This is the location for this. So, example, I will open the Eclipse file location and it takes me into here. So, I'm going to show you guys how to do this. So, go to either, either this site or app, portableapp.com and you know, just stuff around. So, I'll go and show you that I can do it using 7zip. So, let's go ahead and download this. Uh, t -t 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 there it is. So I go ahead and download this, and also so you can see, I do. Not, I'm not in that directory. I need to keep that open. Keep that in mind. As you can see in here, there's no 7-zip. I'll do a search for it. Seven. Oh wow, there's a lot of sevens. Well, 7-zip would have popped up first anyway. So let's just get on with this. So now, let's wait 10 seconds or so for this to. Do that. Okay, here we go. So some of them will have you put in a. It goes like an installer. So don't be discouraged if you see this, because I remember when I used to see this. I used to be like, oh my god, kill me now. I can't install it. But now I know how to do this, so it works out good for me. So you're going to take that your. You're going to want to make a directory for whatever it is you're trying to get. For since here I'm getting seven zip, I'll type in seven zip. Boom. Ah, that name's gonna bother me. There we go. So now what you wanna do is you wanna take, you wanna go in that directory, cut and paste this, put it into the destination folder for the installer, and install it. As you can see, things are starting to pop up in here, and no pro um, uh, admin thing is popping up. So here we go, we're good. Now I get my point across. Here we go. It starts perfectly. And I'm not a 7-zip user, so I do not know if this is what it looks like, but it sure looks pretty close to WinRAR, so I'm going to say it's one and done. Alright. When I say one, I mean like I won like victory, you know. I won that. And just, just, yeah, never mind. But anyways, I hope you guys liked it. Please comment, rate, subscribe. I'm pretty much against saying that sometimes, other than my videos that you will find currently uploaded. And my other videos that I deleted, I didn't like say it that much, but... I guess it's needed to get those things. I really need some in order to keep doing this because if not, I'm just going to give up and not do it anymore. So I hope this can help you guys. I hope you guys can tell your friends about it, family, 
uh, colleagues, anyone, tell anyone about it. Have them visit me on my channel. So, see ya.